Hi guys, Ryu here and in this video we're going to be talking about new add-on called Conform Objects by Mark Kingsnorth and it's really good, it's a brilliant add-on, it just simply makes the shrink wrapping of complex object into a joke. This add-on is so cool, it's been integrated to the latest version of Hardops, so if you have the latest version of Hardops and press Ctrl K, you'll see this um, menu pop up here, you click on add-ons and you can see it here, Conform Objects, so if you have the add-on installed, you will see that it's been activated in Hardops. So what you need to do is you need to go to Blender Market and you know get the add-on, right? It's only 10 bucks, I mean, it's, it's such a great add-on, it's just amazing, it's a lot of tools in here, it's, it's brilliant, I'm gonna be using the shit out of it, 100%. Once you have it installed, right, and once you have the latest Hardops installed, you can start having some fun. So let's just grab this cube and show you how it works. Yeah, I'm gonna create a bevel here and I'm gonna put another bevel on top of it and some weighted normals. I'm gonna activate screencast key so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to create another cube very quickly, right? So cube and I'm going to scale it and move it here on um, Z and X, so it's kinda in the middle. And I'm going to rotate it on Y like this, right? I'm gonna go to local mode, select this face, control Q, it's my shortcut for align in hard ops. Grab this face, press Q, and then dice and V for local dice on just a face, so I can dice just this face. So I'm gonna have a bit more resolution on it. And then I'm going to use this conform tool. So select this object, click select this one, Q with hard ops, mesh tools, and conform objects, and boom, magic happens. And once it happens, you're gonna get this menu pop up here and you can change a lot of settings, okay? First of all, you can, you know, change like where this shrink wrap ends, so how deep into the object it's gonna go, okay? Which is really cool. You can change uh, the offset, of course, but you can also change the way it's been shrink wrapped, okay? And that one is really fucking cool because you have so many options in here and you can do some really kinky stuff, okay? For example, something like this which I think is brilliant. And let's just apply this just for fun, okay? So let's just go here and um, apply this. So we're going to go visual to mesh, right? And we're gonna grab this one and this one and we're going to Boolean them. So operations, um, I mean, Booleans, union, right? And let's just lower the bell because bell is a little bit crazy, right? And shift two to remove this thing. And we need to clean this up a little bit because uh, we got some problems here. Let me see that. Boolean, okay, let's apply this. So operation smart apply and let's see now. Ah, okay. I know what's happening. This one is colliding with the bevel, right? So let's just remove it. So dissolve edges. We don't really need them anymore, okay? So you can dissolve them. In fact, what you can do is go to operations and uh, a clean mesh, which was gonna clean these buggers. Now you got this ship combined with a really interesting, you know, kind of a bend to it you can you know keep working on this one for example right i mean how cool is this this is so cool and it's just hustle free you know you can shrink wrap whatever the hell you want i mean this is genius <laughs> i fucking love this add-on such a simple idea but bloody brilliant um so Let's just mirror this with mesh machine and boom, you got something like this. So yeah, you know, I mean, when you work with hard surface and you need to create kind of crazy shapes like this, it's really cool to uh, to have these kind of add-ons working with you because it just, you know, it's, it becomes less of a, of a chore, okay? It just becomes fun, you know what I mean? So shrink wrapping a complex object is an absolute bitch in Blender. And you know you, you gotta um, go through a lot of um, different kinds of operations, which can be bloody irritating, right? So if you don't have to do that, uh, well then you know why why not just get the add-on? So I'm not um, I'm not having any affiliate links to it. I haven't actually asked Mark for it yet, but probably will. But just guys should just grab it and you know support the creator because this add-on is so goddamn amazing. Yeah, let's just create a, let's just go to uh, this hard ups tool for dots, which is not very helpful for us in this case. But what we could do, we could run a knife here uh, with a C, right? And then maybe dots gonna work a bit better. There we go. Create a dot here, move it somewhere here, and boom, 
right and then we could actually ever scroll this and grab this cutter and maybe uh, we need to flip it so alt and flip and create the reverse bevel we could do this with shift f to be honest but uh, that one is okay as well and uh, that's cool let's create some more cuts in here um, maybe maybe a cut like this that's pretty cool and boom we got a really interesting shape out of this almost in no time right so uh, extremely useful add-on um, you know when you see add-ons integrated to hard ups you basically should grab them okay that's the bottom line because when master zeon sees some potential um he usually he usually knows what's good so yeah instantly if you want to learn how to use hard ups and you would like to dive into a mini course we have a really cool sci-fi terminal mini course now website it's completely free it's split into a few parts in addition we're gonna give you a free pdf file with shortcuts for hard ups and box cutter so click on the link in the video description and you can start your course. Thanks for watching. See you later.